Barack Obama was a liberalist, liberal globalist elitist, a citizen of the world who did not put American priorities first. He did, he, he did not think the most important thing to do was protect American interests. He instead embraced this kind of transnational leftism and that was his priority. So what he does or what he did would, you know, if he had been in Trump's place, would have supported that. And like in Iran, he would have given away the store. I don't think Trump's going to do that. Trump is definitely American first. He just came from the G7 summit where he told a bunch of foreigners, hey guys, I'm here for America, not you. You protect your interests. I'm going to protect my country's interests. Then we'll all be happy. How about we all drop the tariffs? We have no tariffs. No, you don't like that? Okay. Well, we're not, we're not playing the you get tariffs up here and we have tariffs down here game. It's all going to be equal. So you choose where it's equal. None, high, whatever. It's up to you guys. But I'm looking out for America. That's what Donald Trump does. So going into this thing, we can be confident that Donald Trump is going to look out for American interests. We couldn't be confident, confident thinking that Obama would. See, so yes, if Obama went and had the same meeting with, with, with Kim Il, what's his name? I would have totally been outraged. You are absolutely correct, liberals. You are right. And Donald Trump does the same thing. And I'm cautiously, I wouldn't say optimistic, I'm just kind of cautious. Yeah. Is that hypocrisy? No. It's a recognition that Donald Trump and Barack Obama are very different people coming from very different places with very different interests. Look, we're not going to know how this turns out for months. This isn't the beginning of the end. I don't even think it's the end of the beginning. But it may be a way, maybe, hope, pray, to have a peaceful resolution for a conflict that would kill hundreds of thousands of people, including tens of thousands of Americans. If Donald Trump pulls this off, tens of thousands of American families will not have to bury a son or daughter. And I think that's worth a shot. And if it means putting our flag up next to their rag, and if it means flattering that you know, bulbous rocket man, that's okay. Because I would rather take a chance that that works than risk, or risk the certainty of tens of thousands of Americans' deaths. May come to that anyway, may have to be that anyway. But I think it's incumbent on the president to do everything he can to reasonably try and avoid it. And that's what he's doing.